Hi. Hi, sir. Yeah. What's your name? Sir, I am Sir Krishna Bhai Sir. Yeah, Shiva Krishna. Can I have your resume? It's true, sir. Yeah, Shiva Krishna. Quickly introduce yourself. Sir, um, first of all, I would like to thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself, sir. I am Sir Krishna Bhai Sir from Padapuram Town in West Godavari, uh, in Andhra Pradesh, sir. I completed my graduation in the Sistine Institute of Technology, Padapuram, the stream of school engineering, and my internment was held in the Sistine Junior College, Vijayawada, and my school was held in Okay, fine. So, what is your technical skills? Yes, sir, I was, uh, I was good at my technical skills, sir. Uh, I was good at the manual testing, okay. uh, basics of Python, HTML, CSS, sir. Okay, fine. So, resume was looking good and yeah, actually the interview was manual. Uh, is it okay for you? Yes, sir, I'm good Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah Shiva, I am going to the direct the question. What is the difference between smoke and sanity testing? Yes, sir. Uh, smoke and sanity testing, the difference between uh, the smoke, uh, generally the smoke test is done at the, at the initial stage of build released uh, from the developer, sir. But sanity testing is re uh, done at the, the before the delivery of the delivery of the application to the client. So uh, smoke test, uh, smoke test, uh, the, uh, the smoke test, the build may be stable or unstable, but for conducting sanity test, the smoke should, uh, the build should be uh, stable. Yeah, so what you are saying, you both are same. Okay, so generally smoke testing is nothing but the build verification test. So every each and every time build verification, we are checking the basic functionalities of the application. Sanity is nothing but the, like uh, checking the only main modules. Okay, yeah, uh, that's fine. So now, okay, you said that you are uh, already trying that manual. Okay, as a quality team, which type of roles we are getting? Like, uh, Okay, we have a QA and QC. QA and QC. Uh, are you know the difference between QA and QC? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, both. Well, uh, QA is a quality assurance, uh, assurance are enlisted QC is a quality controller. The main, uh, the main uh, objective or the main work of the QC, uh, Q, uh, quality analyst is to, uh, to prepare to review the prepare the documents for the testing and uh, to may, uh, to prepare all the requirements, uh, all the requirement and be, uh, all the requirements, uh, for, for all the requirements, but not to getting. Uh, for not getting the defect, whereas coming to the Q QC, the main responsibility uh, for uh, detect the uh, detect the defects. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. So, yes. One is you need to mention that QA is the process oriented work. QC is a product oriented work. Yeah. That's fine. So, as you know, the difference between priority and severity. Yes. Sir. Yeah. What is the difference? Yeah. Priority and uh, severity. Basically, after the completion of testing. Uh, when the tester raised the when, when the tester raised the uh, defect or a bug in an application, and the uh, priority stands for uh, priority stands for how uh, how a developer uh, how a developer use, uh, should work on the should, uh, how a do, uh, how a developer should work on the uh, fixing of that bug uh, bug based uh, based on uh, its priority because uh, based on its clear. So actually, like uh, whatever you are saying, uh, it's correct. And you need to maintain two, three points, two points like uh, urgency to be fixed. Urgency which way fixed? Urgency to be urgency to be fixed. The defects are known as high priority defects. Severity means the defect impact more on the application. The defects are known as severe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fine. So, uh, okay. I think you are aware about some types of testings also. Okay, what is adapt testing? Adapt testing is a informal testing. So um, basically, uh, informal uh, informal testing and adapt uh, testing uh, is the uh, adapt testing is also can be uh, adapt testing is a random testing. We can say we can say so. uh, uh, the main functionality of adapt testing is uh, uh, when the, the, the tester has to conduct the test, uh, even if he do, he don't know about the requirements or the basic functionality of the uh, test. Um, the main objective of the tester is to in adapt testing is to find the defects and break the system. Yes. So when we have a less time and less test case documents, less this in this time the testing in team can follow this adapt testing. This is also known as informal testing. Okay. Yeah, fine. In your view, what is deferred bug? After uh, the after the uh, bug is accepted by the uh, uh, developer, developer analyst uh, manager development developing manager and it uh, and it, it's a valid bug, and 
um, when it uh, before it was at, uh, assigning to the uh, before it was assigning to the developer for fixation based on its, uh, its low priority and low uh, low severity the testing uh, the bug is set in a queue for its uh, uh, set in a queue for the, for uh, before assigning to the uh, before assigning to the developer that's uh, there are more uh, more severe uh, more severe more priority bugs are uh, in a uh, in a queue than yes. this one. Yeah, uh, Can we uh, defer that? Uh, yes. Uh, for this answer, I need to give one suggestion. So, while you are answering this deferred bug, so you need to say, when there is a defect accepted by developer, but the defect is in under low priority and low severity. In the time of this defect fixation time, there is a high priority and high severity defect. So, due to this reason, we cannot able to fix this defect. The defect is confirmed, but defect in under low priority and low severity. So we are postponing to the next build. Okay, we can. Okay, there is a defect is confirmed. If the defect is postponed to the next shift, so the defects are known as deferred bugs. Okay, fine. And can you explain the agile ceremonies? And you can go through with the sequence. First, I require a total how many types member and what are the ceremonies names and each and every point should be what they can discuss. There. In general, there are four types of uh, agile ceremonies are there, sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, first of all, it was split review meeting. Uh, split review, uh, sprint review meeting. Uh, and next it was uh, daily uh, daily calls or uh, scrum calls. The next it was sprint review. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, next is sprint retrospective meeting. Sir. Yes, first one is sprint planning. Sprint planning meeting. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, sprint, in sprint planning, we, uh, in, spl in sprint planning, uh, the both uh, uh, sprint uh, scrum manager and uh, uh, project owner and team will be uh, team will team will be there and uh, they will discuss about the requirements to be done or the um, backlogs to be uh, in, uh, prioritized in the sprint and uh, the uh, time schedule time schedule to um, uh, complete this complete the sprint and uh, and uh, all the requirements to be done uh, requirements uh, regard uh, requirements like uh, resources and uh, who are the, who are to be in the team and who are to be in the, uh, service team uh, service team or optional team for the sprint is uh, and sprint all these uh, all these things were planned in the sprint planning meetings okay. so next coming to daily calls and scrum calls uh, uh, the main objective of this uh, meeting will be what was what we done yesterday and what 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 is, what is to be done today and uh, what is to be done tomorrow uh, was the main objective of scrum calls and the next coming to the sprint review meeting uh, once the sprint is complete or are, are uh, given to given a demo release to the client uh, we will discuss about the what went good, what went wrong in the uh, in the time of sprint and in the, in the process of developing sprint. Yeah. Okay. Will be discussed and uh, coming to the sprint retrospective meeting. Our, uh, yeah, sprint retrospective meeting comes after the completion of sprint review meeting and sprint review meeting. So uh, in sprint retrospective meeting, it, uh, the main objective is to develop. Uh, it is to give high quality and uh, uh, in efficient uh, efficient application within the time and uh, rectify all the mistakes which was done in the previous sprint uh, will be discussed in the uh, uh, sprint retrospective meetings. Yeah, uh, absolutely fine. So yes, so we can see first sprint planning and sprint uh, daily scrum calls and sprint, sprint, sprint review and retrospective. retrospective meeting. In sprint planning meeting, we are going to discuss about so how many days the sprint will be followed, what are the sprint uh, product, uh, sprint backlog and duration, story points duration. And then daily scrum calls, what we done yesterday, what to do today, and what are the things we are going to do tomorrow. And then so review meeting, client getting the positive response or negative response. Why he was getting positive, why he was getting negative. And finally we are going to the retrospective meetings. What went right and what went wrong and what are the improvements we need to take for a team. Okay, so this is the answer. Yes, fine. And then, yeah, okay. So, you know the SDLC process? Yes. Okay, so just what is SDLC, how many phases are there, what are the names of and each and every phase what are the outcomes. This is the one question and we we'll go through the answer. SDLC, the of SDLC is software development life cycle. So SDLC means software development life cycle, is the process every institute or software company, uh, institute, software company uh, follow to develop an application with achieving high quality of uh, outputs. So there are seven steps, uh, seven, steps are, uh, seven steps involved in SDLC. So coming from coming from first uh, first step will be uh, information uh, information requirement gathering, 
uh, next will be next will be planning and analysis and followed by uh, designing step in designing there will be two design will be uh, presented by the architects and uh, that the, the, those are the high level designs and low level designs and coming to the next it was the uh, developing developing process or coding and next was testing team uh, testing uh, testing team implementation uh, conducting testings and it was next it was uh, uh, when the tests were uh, get got sat uh, satisfactory results the next will be the uh, deployment or uh, delivery to the client and the, and then uh, after that the last step will be the maintenance team sir um, and uh, in these steps the uh, uh, in the first step uh, requirement gathering the output outputs will be business uh, business requirement specification document and uh, in uh, analysis and planning step the out, uh, outcome or out, the out, outcome or output will be the system uh, requirement specification document in designing uh, in designing phase uh, the output uh, output will be the design documents yeah okay so, fine so what is the difference between high level design and low level design so there is uh, in designing phase uh, in the the technical person involved in the design phase will called as technical analy uh, technical uh, analyst or uh, or architect engineer sir here uh, this uh, the in design phase the, the two steps will be to in they will design the uh, design the application in two steps which, which was high level design low level design. in high level design all the modules which will satisfy the requ uh, uh, client's requirements will be integrated and uh, uh, and uh, uh, demoed or displayed and uh, coming to low level long, uh, long ways in between the module the um, the sessions in between the modules are derived yeah okay so yeah uh, yeah shiva so um okay i'm done i think i've done with my side do you have any questions to ask yeah okay fine and my side what suggestion is so you are giving the answers is whatever you are giving it absolutely fine so while you are making the sound you need to like uh, we required some speed so but uh, we need to reduce some speed okay why because uh, sometimes uh, you are guess going to the speed you are uh, like uh, you are not remembering some points okay that's why so go through with your answer very smooth way come okay otherwise uh, all things are fine okay thank you thank you for talk with you okay fine you can leave thank you sir